17 minutes for David Silva and Ryan Kalnan. Silva with a valuable 7.17 for the lead over Kalnan. And as we said before, the new heat in the water. And here's Matt, he's back. Nice carve on the backhand for the goof foot out of Santa Cruz. Pace approach there on the inside side for Nat Young right behind him. Morgan Siblick. Big floating maneuver and goes down in a dangerous way with a bo uh, board slipping in between his feet. So we're going to check on Morgan Siblick as he comes back to air. Here's a replay simple. Yeah, Natty Young on the back end. He's back on tour. A little cutty right there. Doesn't have a ton of wall, but he's going to be patient. Slashes right there. So this wave is actually, it's obviously a lot bigger. So which one gets rewarded? And that's really going to dictate the pace and the size of board that people ride. I agree. It's it's funny because everyone's thinking performance, like how how hard can I perform? But there are a lot of times they are riding the medium size, smaller waves. Yeah, I mean a so, lot of them are four footers. Yeah, people make you can make the statement for there's guys that may be fitter and more prepared for these situations if there wasn't jet skis in a way. Well, yeah. But I think obviously I'm I'm one for wave riding. Natty with a nice two banger right there. <laughs> Now, David Silva, he's um he's turning it on right now. Okay, but who do we got? We got Morgan Siblick out the back. Here we go. Morgs. Nice carve there. Works his way down the line. And again, a little skip out on the inside section for Morgan Siblick in that non-priority heat against Nat Young. Nat Young with a 2.6 and a 4 point. And let's catch up with some rides that happened during the break. This is Nat Young, simple. Yeah, Natty, nice snap right there. He's... He's definitely deep on the reef, it looks like. Whoa, nice hanger. So he's finding his rhythm. He's, his previous was a 5.67, so this is gonna add to that total. And Morgan doesn't really have much right now. A little 2.23 two, 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 and a 1.5. And uh, both are very talented uh, Brazilian surfers from the great town of Socorema. Here we go with Morgan Siblick. He needs to put some pressure, and he does that on the first turn. Another big snap, but goes down incomplete. So on his way to a good score, but unfortunately, Simple wasn't able to finish. Really nice first turn, though, too. He was on his way. He's got a beautiful bottom turn this play. The way he sets up off the bottom, he gets so low, he can really explode off the top. I, I love that touch water. Here's a chance for him to come back right now. Let's see what Morgs has. A nice swooping turn there. And making the best use of this wave, he did get it under priority. So smart surfing by Morgan Sibley. Let's see if that puts him back into the game, Makua. I hope, I think Kikoa Bakalso is his caddy. I'm hoping he tells him to go out the back. Because if that boy goes out the back and surfs like he does from the peak, he's really cutting his opportunity short, only taking off, you know, two thirds down the wave. If he paddles out the back and really gets one, he's going to put the pressure on that young. Let's take a look first at Morgan Sibley. Simple. Right here, draws it off the bottom. Like Makua said, I mean, it's a four-footer. Nice wrap, but Nat seems to just be on the big... If he did that on the wave previous, on the bigger <laughs> wave, he's gonna he would be back in it. But I think Nat put on another score on him, so he's going to he's gonna need a... If not still comboed, he's going to need a massive one. For me, because I have, uh, I have a, lot of, a lot of coats in the middle of the, the years, and then yeah, let's go. I guess I have one more hit. Well, you're looking so sharp. We're so excited to see you into the round of 16. Good luck this afternoon. Rest up. Back to you guys. I uh, love the enthusiasm from David Silva as we saw Nat Young finishing off another good ride. One of the things I love to do when I watch surfing is to watch Nat Young surf because he's so smooth. I mean, there's no jerky moves. Look at that. Off the bottom, bang, off the top. And he just right back into another move. This guy's ripping right now. Combination three turns if you can do that out at sunset you're usually going to get in the good range and right here slash sets this thing up and this one's a little bit deeper off the bottom things a lot more wall goes up vertical hits it kind of underneath free falls and uh that's committed like we saw kyo you know early this morning do that one under the lip out the back weightless we got more action out the back siblick nice carve off the top Attacks the lip that time and is successful in completing his ride. Wants to get back and challenge Nat Young. Nat Young's wave, well, we'll get to the score because Nat Young is up and riding yet again. Previous wave on Nat Young, a 7.7. .7. Let's see if he can better that on this Whoa. wave again. The backhand assault 
continues by Nat Young. So far, he has a 7.67 and a 7.7 in his score line. Morgan Siblick needing a 9.77 at this moment, but the judges do owe us a couple more scores. Well, I mean, look at this control right here. It's a little bit away from him, but I mean, right here's the money off the bottom. And you see what I'm talking about, how he opens his bottom. I see if we get a, a slow-mo of that replay right here. Watch how he opens his arms right here. His arms are open. He's turning his body almost all the way to look up at that wave, directing the nose of that board, releasing the tail, getting the fins free. And you'll notice the people that go far in these contests, the surfing looks effortless, even when it's a major maneuver. It goes into the excellent range as we look at an excellent heat, anything with 16 and above. And he's a 16.13. Morgan Siblick's going to have to surf his way out of a deep, deep, a deep disadvantage at this time. He's coming through, however, and maybe he was clawing his way back in. That's not the 9.53 that he needs, but he can slowly build some scores. He's got five minutes remaining and claw his way back into this heat. Right here, Kaipo, it's a smaller wave first, right? Off the bottom. Nice little jam back into the whitewash. I think right here's his money turn. Really just ripping into the top of that wave. Missed it a little right there, huh? That sprayed it. Here we go, though. Matt Young, who has had an excellent heat so far, and is just going to take a nice ride to the beach here for Nat Young and a ride into the round of 16. And I'm really looking at Nat Young in the scope of this competition, Brett, is... Um, as a standout goofy foot we haven't had a goofy foot win out here at sunset since 2008 we're just 20 seconds away for making it official and wrap up this heat for nat young as he is going to move into the round of 16 but hold your horses there is a small gap of light 9.53 would be the performance right now for a buzzer beater from <laughs> Morgan Siblick, two big turns, but likely not the 9.53 that he requires. Siblick putting his best effort forward on his last wave, jamming it up in the lip. Right here, really just wrapping this turn. I love that top turn right there. And I think if there was a big closeout section to that wave and he could get super critical. I mean, that's the tale of, of two years, you know, like it's kind of that sophomore slump. It's a sophomore slump. Hey, yeah. look, it, it, happen, it happens to athletes. It happens to rock bands. You put yeah. the first album out. It's a big hit. Try to follow up that album. Second album generally for like a landmark, you know, when we look at in the world of music, sophomore slumps there. Sometimes it happens here. I don't want to call it too early on Morgan Siblick. He's still got you know, three more events yep. before the cut.